everyone and welcome to my wedding series. So I am due to be getting married in 2021, hopefully in July, around that time. We're looking to wed on our anniversary date. And I'm gonna marry this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like it. I wasn't expecting him to come down shirtless. He's getting dressed for work. Adam proposed in January of this year, so 2019, whilst we were skiing, snowboarding in. Where were we? France. Were we in France? Yeah. Who else? What's that place called? No, it's called um, the Follow Douche. Where's that? Oh my god, my memory's so bad. Val Desert, that's it. Val Desert in France. Um, we can blame it on Baby Brain. And that video is also up, and I'll put that in this series. Um, but I'm just going to be showing you what kind of what I've been getting up to to lead up to the wedding day. So the first thing that I have done, I haven't tried on any dresses. I'm currently 20 weeks pregnant, and I just think a lot's going to be changing um, in two years, so I might as well wait till next year before I actually start trying on dresses. When filming this video, so when we went to the wedding fair, I had full intentions of getting married on the island of Capri. It's a place that we've been before and we both absolutely fell in love with it. But since looking at hotels for our guests to stay in, places to wed, places to have the after venues, it just isn't very suitable for us. So they were looking at around 40 to 45,000 just for an evening venue. And then hotels, it was mainly the hotels that put me off. What put, we've booked our flights and we've booked our hotel to go there and we're due to be going there in two weeks. But after looking at the hotel room that we're getting and looking at the swimming pools, I've changed my mind. It's just, I want my guests to be excited to go there and it's quite dated and it's just not, yeah, it's just not, not the place. So we've changed our mind. So we're hoping we can cancel the hotel room and swap, just swap our flights to somebody somewhere else. I'm now thinking of the, one of the Balearic Islands, either I beat the Old Town, Mallorca, the options are open and I'm not gonna stick to one thing. It just means we're gonna have to go on quite a few holidays to explore. The first thing that I have done is I headed to a wedding fair. We went to the National Wedding Show um, that was in London at the Excel Centre and I took my maid of honour, Jenny, to come with me and yeah, this is, this is basically what we got up to on that day. So Hello everyone! <laughs> Jenny's back! Oh yeah, We're it's on. been a while. It's been a long while. When was the last vlog? It's been a minute. Huh? The last vlog? Paris. Paris? I think. It's been years. No, oh, it is. no, I don't think it's been that long. We're off to do our first wedding-y thing. Um, thing, thing. Um, we're going to a wedding fair today. It's the National Wedding Show. And although the wedding's in two years, I thought it would just be a good idea to get some ideas on wedding planners, especially because I want to do the wedding abroad. Um, just sitting on the train now, and we've already come up with our colour scheme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So already it's been a productive day. So I'm going to be filming the day, showing you what a wedding fair is all about. We have no idea. We've both never done one, so it's all new to us. Got our tickets. We're here. How are you doing? Well, Hello. Thank you. Oh, sorry. All right, brilliant. Look at that. Lovely. Have thank you. So we're She's here, up. and this is kind of. Did you think it was going to be like this? Yeah. This is kind of exactly what I thought thought it was going to be like. So maybe we should find out what time the next show is. Jess, come on, let's get, let's get a magazine. Oh yeah, you get one of these. Do they have a? Yeah, get one of those leaflets as well about the show. Yeah, one of these ones. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I love these flowers. These are the type of flowers that I even want at home. They're like, it's, I think this is like dried compass grass, maybe. Is that what it's called? Yeah, we hay fever. Looking at it, it's making all of Jenny's got hay fever. Yeah. 
so I obviously can't drink it, but Jennifer's gonna try it for me. Here she goes. Look how cool the bottles are though. Yeah, these are cool. If you didn't like the taste of it, we're also doing the syrups. So you can put them in any drink that you like. There you go, that's the Alcohol wine from Olympia in Spain. It's one flavour and three colours, so you just choose whichever colour or effect you want. Are you going to try some? Yeah. I'm okay, but she's going to try it for me. <laughs> but nice, it's nice on its own. You can also mix it with any white spirit, not what you clean your brushes with. I like it. But you know, like your gins, your rums, your bubbles to make like a cocktail. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try the bubbly with the gold flake? Jenny's now trying natural hair removal. When we're here, it's really it's the skin that I'm wearing it removes the hair. Regrowth is up to two weeks, so you can use it on places like your facials, your underarms, your arms, your legs, your bikini line. You can use it literally all over your body. <laughs> it's really good. Is it actually good? Yeah. I'm going to be so patchy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, the charge is going. Ah! You can't go wrong. Why is it not in focus? Beam. <laughs> I, I gotta tear this world apart. photos on the day of your wedding. Oh my god. That's so strange. So we just got our photo done by a service robot who you can have at your event, like to walk around. Just come across this, shoot it yourself, and they edit the video footage for you. Hi. <laughs> While we're waiting for our train, perfect pizza and pasta. Who's 
good company, isn't she? Always on her phone. The first chance. <laughs> So overall, I found the wedding fair really, what's the word, informative. Um, I found a lot of wedding invites, stationary people. Um, I found a lovely lady who does nails, which I will probably contact. So many dress options, but that's just something I'm not even thinking about just yet. Um, and I think if you're definitely going to have a UK wedding, everything, like, it's a good place to start and it's a good yeah it's a good starting point because there were some things that I hadn't even considered that were there so there was the um, videos where you vlog the you vlog the days yourself kind of like you all film and then you send it back to them and they edit it all for you so there was a lot of things that I hadn't considered that were there on the day and it's just it was just nice to do something with Jenny because we we're obviously not doing a lot of bridesmaidy, maid of honorary things, so it was just nice to do something together. I did go along um, hoping that there might have been someone there who caters for weddings abroad, but there actually wasn't. There was one Italian stand, and I have been in contact with them a little bit about Capri, but again, it's uh, it just seems very outdated personally. So I think if you are going to go to a wedding fair and you're planning a wedding abroad, potentially look at wedding fairs that are happening on in that country or on that island because you will get a lot more knowledge I guess um, obviously if we were to have it on Capri everything would have been Capri well even wherever we have it everything is going to be sourced from that country because I obviously want to support that country and I don't want to have imports from the UK so that's just something to bear in mind if you're planning an overseas wedding as well so overall it has been a complete whirlwind and Adam told me not to tell everyone it's happening in Capri, but I did, and now it's not, so that's exciting. I've just seen a lot more options available on other islands compared to what we would get for our money in Capri. Yeah, and I really want our guests to have the best time and value for their money as well. I don't want them to be spending money to come away for possibly a weekend and not get, not be like amazed by what they're experiencing and another thing was if I was to have my wedding in Capri I wouldn't have had a hen do because I personally don't want to expect people to pay for pay to come to my wedding and pay for a hen do so if we do have it somewhere that's been, that's more affordable for people it means I could go out for two weeks a week and guests could also come out for a week and then I could have my hen do during that week while we we're away and Adam said he would do the same probably so it just means it's yeah, I just prefer the idea, I think. So that's my first part of my wedding series. I would love to see what, I would love to know what you would like in these videos, part of this series. I'm gonna be taking you with us whenever we go to visit venues or like when it gets to like trying on dresses and just I'm gonna be trying to keep a document of everything that we get up to. And don't forget there will always be blog posts as well over on my blog. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.